Hello and welcome back to my Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar series. And uh, yeah, stuff happened. If you look at the top of the screen, you will see that we are in level 7. And you might ask, what happened? How did we get here? Well, I did it. I thought I recorded it. Uh, turns out I must have put an update on OBS, which is what I use to record the gameplay. And uh, OBS decided to implement this wonderful little thing called a recording timer, which they turned on for reasons that make no sense to me. And they set the default to be 30 seconds, which makes no sense to me. So every time I was recording, it would get to 30 seconds and it would stop. And I didn't notice it. Uh, the last episode I re recorded, I have all this audio, but... Um, uh, I didn't have any video to go with it, so I just decided I wasn't going to do an audio episode like I did last time. I don't think there was enough exciting stuff there because I wasn't running in terror from pirates. So let me go to the notes and let's uh, talk through some of what happened here. So as you recall, we were trying to find our way through this maze here to get to um, to get to this room so we could get the heck out of Dodds. And what we couldn't find was a way to get, we could either go down through here and turn left, um, or turn right, I guess that's my other, yeah, that's my right, or go down here and, 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 and do all that. So the way we did that, the key to, to everything was in this room here. Um, you had to get rid of the Balrons and the, and the, the lava lizards. And what you had to do is somebody had to stand where this Balron was. And then what happened is a new space opened up here next to where this Balron is. Because I we had I, I had somebody walking all of these in the previous episode. Smart people probably noticed it. I noticed it when I was editing. But once I didn't notice when I was playing uh, the last episode that this opened up. So I never stepped on it. Uh, but when you step on that, what it does is it builds this little bridge right across here between these two. And then you can get here. And from there, you can either go over here to this thing with the, with the, that's a little small because I made everything else big. Uh, this room with the hydras and a whole bunch of uh, dispels. Or you can come down here and come down here to the wood. And this is the room with the headless. We fought the headless many, many times. And, uh, you know, so we know all about that. And, and so we came down here and of course, because this game likes to be a butthead as we were walking down the wood that opened up further <laughs> bridges between us and the headless. And they came I, we didn't, I didn't even bother killing him. You know, we just, you know, went, went through and then we came into this room. So this room is th the room we needed. We can leave out of here to the West or to the south, it doesn't matter. We just don't want to go to the north. Uh, and we'll get, we would get to the room where the Ankh was. And so you see we have Balrons in the corners. And I'll get to, I, I was doing all this stuff without using the gates. And I'll get to why on that in a second. Um, but we fought our way through here. And as you worked your way and stepped on various things, these uh, force fields around the Balrons would drop. And then they would attack. So, you know, we ended up, I think, having to kill at least three of the Balrons. Um, and, you know, working in between the the spells of, of, of people sleeping. I had times where everybody was sleeping. And, you know, the Balrons just sitting there, cats and spell after spell, spell. But we finally got all the way through that. And we went down to the south here. And that dumped us. If I go back to level six map, that dumped us right here. And then there was, there was the uh, altar, and you know the question was, because uh, we're in level six here, uh, you know what is found at the altar of truth and courage? I actually think it's said courage and truth, if I remember correctly. And I typed in honor, and it's like use your stone. I typed in purple, and lo and behold, we got the stairwell, and we climbed down the stairs, and we got to level seven and so this is what level seven looks like um and so we're right here so what we want to do is we're just going to kind of work our way to the northeast to try to get to this onk uh and uh 
and, and get going from there. Now let's go back to the game and let me go through a couple other things real quick before we start playing games. If I, or playing the game. If I look at this, our stats, um, we have got, you will see that our garlic is getting way low. We're down to 27. I was, I was going to make a, just a mess uh, more spells. And but garlic is is used in a lot of things, and I wish we could have more than ninety nine of it because we use it in the cures, we use it in the um, we use it in the uh, negate spells, and we use it in the dis well, we don't yeah, and we use it in the in the dispel spells. So that's like the three biggest spells I'm using in this in this dungeon. So I was beginning to get worried. So what I ended up doing was I got us up to 28 cure spells. Um, I did 27 dispels because we were down to like 10 or so on that. Um, and then I did, I thought I did 10, but I have nine negate spells. Maybe I broke down and actually used a negate spell at one point uh, going through that last room. I don't recall. Um, so I... We're going to try to do, if we can live without doing a lot of negate spells, I think we're going to try to limit that. I've been kind of doing them just as a matter of course, but I think we need to be a bit more careful about that. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, really kind of, you know, using those as if, if things are really dire and we just need the magic casting to stop for a bit, I'm going to do a negate spell. I also did a few more. Uh, I, I, I cast when I was going through those rooms a few more tremors to try to, uh, you know, uh, get rid of some enemies. And I'll probably do that more where we have the bow runs is do some tremors. We still have 11 of those. Tremors, thankfully, they don't use um, uh, garlic. They use sulfur ash and blood moss and mandrake root. And we're actually doing pretty good. On all of those so that's that's good we can always make a bunch more of those if we have to um, so yeah that's that's kind of where we stand um, so without further ado we want to head to the north and uh, and we want to uh, we're gonna have to go through this room we're gonna have to go through this room that we're looking at here uh, it doesn't matter really which door we go to it's the same combat room and then we're gonna want to always be exiting to the north or to the east it doesn't really i don't think it matters oh this is interesting all right so i guess we'll send our melee people to take care of a couple of these guys maybe i mean i am not fussed about headless they don't disturb me in the least they are easy prey Oh, I should have. Right, we'll, we'll do it this way. So I'm going to get. Oh, that's evil. Maybe not evil. Um, hmm. Okay. There we go. Jeez. It's being the wonder if we could actually. Are we able to take out Headless? Because we uh, haven't shown much of an ability at the current time. All right. Uh, I'm not super thrilled about the thought of doing a dispel, and I don't know if there is a spot in this room that will turn off this force field. I'm guessing probably not. Um, so I'll probably just have to cast the dispel to get out of here. But I'm going to let... I'm just going to hang here for a bit and let my people take care of the headless, in theory. And then, if it's looking like we're ready to get gone, then I will cast a spell and get out Dutch. All right. Come on, Katrina. Oh, no, that's Joffrey. Sorry, Katrina. Yelling at the wrong person. That's good. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. I think I want to leave to the north. For no real reason. 
but I don't know. We're it feels like we're making more progress if we're going to the north. All right, so I think I'm gonna start getting people out of here toward the north. And I don't think I'm gonna bother trying to touch every stinking tile in here, much as I really don't want to have to waste the spell. Um, I'm gonna do it. I probably should make sure that uh, maybe I'll have Dupree hang, hang back. Um, which one's Dupree? Not that one. Um, so that if I, if for some stupid reason I can't do the spell or something, I'm really, I'm really kind of projecting about what could this game try to do to me. Um, then he can cast it from the outside if need be. I mean, we've never had that happen. The only time we can't cast a spell is if, the, if there's a negate inact, a activated and we do not have a negate activated currently. So, it should be a non-issue. That was me. Okay. So I'm going to cast the spell to the north. Oh, wow. Oh, that's right. Poison trapped. I've been poisoned. All right, and now I gotta cast the spell again because I'm an idiot. I will not be backing up. I am not. I mean, I I have no doubt that if I keep doing the spells around this circle, I'm gonna keep finding gold. We don't need gold that bad. We have 4,400 gold. Um, I'm just getting out of here. <laughs> All right, so I gotta cure myself. All right. I don't remember when the last time we held up and hold up in camp uh, was. So let's give that a shot. All right, we got some healing. I'm I'm 43 from being full health. Everybody else is full health. All right, so we we're in the north room. So now we want to go. Hold on a minute. I'm getting confused. So we were here. We entered this room here. We came out to the north. So we should be entering to the east, right? But there's no, if we go back to the game, there's no door to the east. Oh no, that's the west. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, back to the game. Now that I'm having, it's been a little bit, and apparently my brain is you know, still in vacation mode or something. Hydras. I wonder what that thing in the middle is. Okay, so we want to, uh, I think we'll re repeat what we did last time, and we'll go out to the north. That way I don't conf confuse myself with multiple directions. Um, I'm not going to try to walk through with whatever this pink box is. Oh, I am, color me unsurprised that the hydras have been released. Um, we'll kill the ones that are in our faces, I think. Just because they uh, got in our faces. But I think everybody else, especially like our melee peeps, I think I'm going to get out of here. I'm expecting this pink box in the middle to like at a certain point it's going to reveal you know a Balron or, or, or some such BS as that you know but we'll see 
All right, that guy's heavily wounded. Still heavily wounded. We keep missing that guy. Now he's fleeing. Good luck with that. This this one at the bottom has got some real good juking and jiving going on. All right, you get out of here. You get out of here. All right, Iolo. Against my better judgment, I'm adding you to the... Okay, here we go. Beautiful. All right, so we can work everybody out of here. All right, we made it out. Uh, so that's two out of four rooms. Ooh, we have a whole, I mean, this is like Halloween in a box right here. Uh, we want to get out of here to the north, um, which means we have buttons someplace. And we're obviously going to release these guys at some point. So I guess we might as well get a move on into the room. And we're probably going to have to take out most of these guys. Not that that's really that big of a problem for us, but all right. We're just going to have to like start stepping on tiles until we find the one that's going to unlock the things. Oh, look. So the ghost, no, the ghost just came through the wall. Ghosts can come through walls, which makes perfect sense. All right, you get up there. You're there. You're there. I don't, well, I'm not, we have wisps and we have phantoms, skellies and gazers and, a, and a, a lich there. I don't think the liches or the, or, or the, I'm, well, I'm not sure what the lich, but I don't think the gazer or the uh, skellies can come out. It doesn't look like much of anything else can either right now so okay so you get up there you can come over you can come over all right i'm just gonna get people in these little corners there's just a, there's just enough of us to get someone in each of these corners which may not be a coincidence. So I'm going to leave the people in the corners. Ah, there we go. I think that wisp just teleported. I wonder if we got to go through. Well, no, that's nothing happens. It's just the ghost is coming out. But that wisp, maybe they can teleport. I'm still going to move forward with my original plan here of getting us all in these little nooks. Barring the odd ghost. All right, you're in place already. And then I guess if you've got a line on, a, on the wisp, you might as well shoot at it. The people that are able to do so. All right, nobody else is coming out. So that the ghost just came to the wall, as they can do. And um, I guess the wisp can teleport. I'm not quite sure why that other one is not teleporting but he's not maybe he will in due course but i'm expecting well, i'm hoping because once i get into that nook we've basically stepped on all the tiles i think except for the six or so that are down below um jana and katrina there uh that, is that a different wisp all right all right, let's. I'm going to have people start to test. Oh, looky, looky, looky. I don't know if it was like that before, but over there by. Um, who is that? I think that's. That's Julia and Katrina. There is a hidden wall that we can see. So one of them. Whoever comes up next is going to go step on that. It'd be nice if we could take out the wisp just because he's annoying more than anything else. All right. 
Oh, look, it opened up right in front of me. So we're going to have to go through. Oh, it opened up on top, too. All right. All right, there we go. Wisp is killed. Um, oh, come on, Joffrey. You can do better than that. There's not any other hidden stuff. It doesn't look like it. All right. Just thought I'd double check. Actually, I should get Katrina going the other way around. Because she's melee, she's not going to be able to shoot from the rear. And I'm guessing somewhere in here, where the, all the mount monsters are, there's going to be a button that's going to open up the top. And probably the west side, too. If we have to go out the west, we will. I mean, it's not a... We obviously just don't want to go out the south or back out the east because that would negate the purpose. All right. Oh, that lit's just critical. That was a nice hit. He's still critical. All right. Didn't change much there. Heavily wounded on the gazer. That's good. All right. All right. Let's just gone. Beautiful. Gazer's gone, which is also beautiful. I am guessing that I probably have got to get like in this corner here to open up the passageways, but we'll see. It could be some other spot. There we go. All right, I'm gonna get these people out. And between Dupree and I, uh, we can certainly take care of this phantom. That is not a problem. All right. Boom. Let's get out of here. One more room to go, and we will have reached level eight. Probably the final level of the abyss. Won't that be exciting? Which means the codex is nigh. All right, last room. We come out of this room, we should be there where the Ankh is, meaning the altar. Let's do it to it. Okay, so I'm gonna cast a tremor. Ooh, that worked out nicely. We can't move. Um, oh, yes, we can. All right, so we have one, we have three Oh, we got fake walls. Interesting. We've got a lot of, of fake walls here, but they don't necessarily look like, look like they lead anywhere. So, because there's one there. I guess what I should do is have, because I don't know if we have fake walls that don't look like fake, you know, that aren't marked as fake walls. It's guess not. So, one there. All right. But what I don't get is <laughs> uh, all right. That, that, that's how we are. You get down there and then he casts a spell and that opens all of the all the passageways. All right. I am gonna get up here. We aren't gonna worry about a gate and uh, but I am gonna use it to spell. 
I have more of those um, to deal with. And then I can just, between those of us in the line here, except for you, Joffrey, we can hopefully just take this guy out in short order. He's only lightly wounded at this point. All right, you're going to have to come down. Okay, come down. You're awake, so we can get you out of the passageway. Because that's what I was noticing. We had these same kind of little loopy things on all of these, but they don't seem to go. They didn't seem to go anywhere, and that's because, as Admiral Akbar would say, it's a trap. Beautiful. All right. Let's get rid of some skellies. Always good fun. Good, wholesome, clean fun. All right, good. There's just one skelly in our way. Let's just... Come on, guys. One good hit and he's toast. All right. Just like that. All right, here we is at the end of level seven. So I want to use, I want to use, um, oh, I tapped use twice. What's going on with my U? There we go, wow. Use which I, oh, I just type in U for, yeah, I'm an idiot. How long have I been playing this game? Too long, apparently. Use which item? Stone. As a doth approach, a voice rings out, as we've heard many, many times before. What virtue doth come from truth, love, and courage? Well, we've been through all the other ones. And we did them in order. But the problem I'm having is that the next one would be spirituality. But what I have written down here is courage only. Tooth, love, and courage. And actually, let's switch to the notes here because I'm wondering if the game's trying to get tricksy here. I, and I wish I'd saved. I did not save. Uh, I've never failed one of these. I don't know what's going to happen. Um. So I don't know if I should be saying humility because I can see humility being truth, love, and courage. We never were told what, because there was no dungeon for it, we were never told what altars it applies to. But I could, I think you could make a case that humility stems from truth, love, and courage. Um, spirituality probably doesn't stem so much from courage. Probably truth and love. Although we say courage, you know, they said it was the altar of courage. Oh, God. I just don't want, if I if I pick wrong here, if I pick wrong here, you know, I hope it's not going to, like, kick me out of the abyss or some BS like that. I really hope that's not the case. It's been going down the order of these things all the way. The seventh one is spirituality. I'm going to go with that, even though it doesn't match my notes, because my notes could be incomplete. The voice says, use a stone. Okay. The stone for spirituality is white. Okay, thank freaking God. <laughs> and let's save. Just I meant to do that before we did this, and I did not, because I'm an idiot. All right, so we are down here on level eight at long last. So in accordance with long practice, let us take a second here and peer at a gem. Well, look at that. That's an interesting, that's an interesting um, symbol there in the lower. Oh, it's an onk. I, I was like, I couldn't make sense of it. It's an onk in that lower uh, right-hand corner. 
So that's where we got to go. We've got, I guess, four combat rooms to go through. We have, you know, at least two we have to go through here. I wonder if this is going to be another thing here where we got to, you know, wind our way through this mess. Um, as opposed to just going bloop, bloop. Uh, and be easy peasy. I'm going to guess it's probably going to be something tricksy. We are on level A to the freaking abyss, people. I'm expecting some difficulty here. Um, you know, just because that's the way this game is. Uh, so, yeah. But that's where we're going to leave it for this time. Next time, we will get ourselves to level eight, and hopefully, that Ankh is the entrance to the chamber of the codex we will have to see we're going to have to see what question it's going to give us because it's you know this is is this feeling to me like the final exam is coming <laughs> and it's coming soon and we don't you know we we studied but we don't really know what the question is i don't want to talk, play with you uh, all right, so I'm going to let that be that. We'll be back next time to finish this level. We may have to take on those guys that were just there and then uh, the Reapers, and then we'll get into the dungeon rooms, uh, the combat rooms, and get the heck out of Dodge. Thank you for joining me for this. Please come back for the next one. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you then. So be seeing you. <laughs>